my boots we're in a little bit of disrepair picture right here you can see the threads are coming loose so I needed to either send them out and get them repaired or repair them myself decided to go for it I picked up an all for all and this is the kit I picked up now it's got three different bobbins black brown and white it came with two smaller needles two larger needles and a hooked needle bent needle along with a screw to hold the bobbin on and a tool now the back side of this is the storage for the rest of them so let me uh, get this prepped and we'll go from there so there's also a collet nut right there so I'll show you what I'm going to use since I already did the repair to the boots and it's really hard to show the stitching I decided to um, do a mock-up of what it would look like before and after and again you'll see the after and I'll also show a little bit of video of me doing the stitching on the boot itself so just so you can see a good contrast I'm gonna go ahead and use the brown uh, while I'm doing the stitches so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and thread it through the center Try to get you in here, but no guarantees if. No. You gotta take my word for granted. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so you feed it up right through the center. like that go ahead and take that screw find out which way it goes in thread her back on we'll just give her a little bit of a tight down a little bit doesn't have to be too tight now we're gonna go ahead and use this needle Try to bring you in real close. There is a slot. Oops. There is a slot right down the center of this needle. So we want to make sure that we run the thread that we just had right down that needle slot before we put it in. And then we're going to feed the thread right through the eye make sure we keep it on the same side now let me get this in here and I'll come right back all right I got it through the eye went ahead and put the nut back on tighten it up a little bit with the tool and I can pull the thread through but it's not going to just spin out real easy. So now let me get everything put away in the storage. And we'll get to doing the repair. So you want to take out on a tail on the excess twine thread a little bit more than what uh, you're going to need um, on the back side because you're going to use that for the back side of the stitch for this for this style stitch repair so the first thing we're going to do is I've already I've got some holes uh, mocking up as if that's where the, th the old thread was so I'm going to work right back through that same spot so I can keep everything as is so first I'm gonna go right through that first hole now remember you're not gonna be able to see the back side of this when the sh with the shoes so then you can start pulling a little bit and you see the how you get a little bit of a loop you can go ahead and pull that thread all the way through there you go now you do 
you want to leave that there you don't want to pull that back all the way out okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next hole push through all the way in and if we back out just a little bit we get a little bit of a loop now this is going to be the hard spot hard part is inside the boot you're going to have to be able to feel to get it back through that loop and then you can draw your your twine your hook back out give yourself a little extra and then you're going to just kind of hold the inside and the outside and tug it get it tight and you're going to do that again so we're going to go right back through the same hole or the original hole that was in the boot all the way in pull back a little bit and then get that twine through that loop pull it through and then you're going to want to pull both ends and tighten that knot up. So one of the tricks I did when I was doing this is because I couldn't catch that loop easily way down in deep so I gave myself an excessive amount of twine or thread put it through the hole that I needed to my next hole and I pull and I'm trying to sh see if I can't show it to you but I was using my fingers to feel the twine or thread and I was trying to get that create a bigger loop where I can get my finger on it and then I pull the needle through and then go ahead and draw this loop out where I could work with it, catch the, the string, the tail end, and then I'd pull it together. So I'm into the last hole that I'm gonna that I need to repair. So what I can do now is just pull a little bit, come back in, snip, left-handed world using uh, right-handed shears, not always fun. All right, so now we just take and we pull both. You have two tails there, and if you can't try to pre-plan, so this is somewhere where you can actually get in and tie a knot. <clears throat> Luckily for me, I was able to do that. So come in and just tie a square knot, double knot it, if you like, and come back in and snip, snip. Now one thing you will, this is another thing you want to try to plan too, is that is a little bit of a lump. You will feel that uh, you can take on some of the synthetic threads and take a, uh, um, like a soldering iron and hit it and actually melt that down. Or uh, you can use a lighter ear, try not to damage, of course, your boots or the threads again, but. Uh, if you need to or if you can get that into a spot where it's not going to be irritating to you so here what the repair looks like and of course this is just me just throwing some holes in this uh, but as you can see those are holding really good there you go that that was my first attempt at uh, doing a repair to boots. It came out successful. You see the end result right there. And this is just me showing you how I did it. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share. Hope to see you on the next video. Have a good one.